everybody. Welcome to Bestie Book Reviews. I'm here with my bestie, Mandy, but we're here with uh, Kate Rivenhall, author Kate Rivenhall today. So yay, thank you so much for being here. We're so excited to have you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yay. Uh, yeah, because Mandy holds up one of the books. Um, <laughs> <laughs> One of the banned books, which I feel like as an author, when you have banned books from Amazon, you've totally made it. So yay, yay for you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, okay, Mandy. Okay, let's just jump right in. And so what types of books do you write? What types of tropes for people who might not be familiar? Um, I would say my most use trope with all I have a variety of pen names across sweet and dark romance, but one of the main tropes is over the top, obsessed and jealous possessive. That's probably my top favorite trope to write. So yeah, that's my top favorite. All right. Okay. So under this pen name, under your Kate Rivenhall, are all the books taboo, brother, sister situation? Yes, <laughs> yes. So this is my taboo pen name. Um, I started it because even though it's got similar themes to my dark romance, I didn't want to all of a sudden like have a brother surprise popping out on my readers who are not used to brother surprise. Yeah. So I created a pen name just for Taboo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Which we love, by the way. <laughs> we'll love that, so. Yeah. All right, Mandy. Are you willing to share your pen name for your dark romance or do you not want to go there? Oh, no. Yes. It's Kate Raven is my dark romance pen name. Um, and it's similar, but I feel like that one, like, I feel like my taboo main, like, male main characters are a little more sympathetic mm -hmm. um, than my dark romance. Most of them are just simply unhinged and just not, like, the anti-heroes. Um, I feel like they're actually a little more sympathetic with taboo, which you'd think would be the opposite, but no, like, they're just unhinged in the dark romance one. But I have... And then I also write like Jane Austen fan fiction as well. So no. those are those are my like main pen names, but I've been focusing more on dark and taboo recently. And I, so. I know you're in one of the same reading groups that I'm in. And so there's this part of me going, do I have your books on here that I don't even realize are your books like on my Kindle? I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure I do. I just haven't realized that they were under the other pen, pen name. So We'll be checking that out soon. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, but like I said, they're si they're similar. Like they have the same tropes of over the top, um, dub or non con, but they're meaner. I really think those boys are meaner <laughs> the dark romance. So you wrote the catcher. Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay, I that. haven't read that yet. Like that is top of my TBR to read, but I've seen a lot of people talking about it in the dark reading group. So, um, yeah, it's definitely up there. Okay. Yeah, that one is dark. That one is that one is probably the darkest one I've written. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for that for that pen name, yeah. What do I have on my Kindle? I knew I had something of yours on my Kindle. So yeah, uh, under that name, I should say. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank okay. you for sharing that because I'm all like, yeah. All yes, right. <laughs> I know. I wrote it down so I can go check for it. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite book you've written or favorite characters? I'm. The Eclipse Ritual is my favorite book that I've written, and Ronan and B are both my favorite characters that I've ever done. So yeah, that book is, that one is my favorite one. So I I love the world, and I'm not like I may keep going because I'm I'm just really I really enjoy writing the lore and the world, mm -hmm. and so I'm planning probably to make it like a longer series. Okay. Not just like oh. a duet. So yeah. Okay. That was one of my questions because mm -hmm. I read the parolee and at the end you said that your next project was working on, is it the blood, blood moon or something? What was it called? Yeah. Yeah. And blood moon ritual is the second. Yeah. Yes. And it says sequel in the parolee, but at the end of eclipse ritual it says series and so i'm like okay so are you <laughs> yeah. getting a series or are you gonna just wrap it up so okay yeah no it's gonna be a series i thought it was just gonna be two and done but then i got a little too obsessed with and i just i feel like there's a lot i've already thought of a whole other storylines for like books three and four and five so 
I'm going to keep going with that series. Yeah. That, that makes me very happy. I, I yes. love that world. I cannot wait to see more in that world. I can't wait to find out more. So are we going to have different couples in each book or? Yes. Yeah. So they will all like, you'll see Ronan and B like in the second book, they, they will be in each book, but it will start out with a new couple each time. Okay. Okay. So with the next one, it's a whole different, and what, <laughs> one thing I enjoy is that because they'll be from each different congregation, they'll all have different rituals and like ways of doing things in each, so each one, so just because there was a ritual in one congregation, they'll be different in a different congregation. Okay. okay. Which I like because it means I can be creative with each different congregation since they're all like self-contained kind of. Yeah. So yeah, so the other ones will start out in a different congregation. So yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait. And you said that's supposed to be out yeah. this summer sometime, right? Yeah, I it's some. I think I originally put summer fall, but I'm hoping for summer. I have I have two other like taboo projects I'm also working on, but that's that's supposed to be. I think I said summer fall, but I'm aiming for summer. So yeah. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I I am a little nervous about the second um male main character just because well I, I this is spoiler maybe but i'm i'm he's coming at it from a different angle than i guess okay so spoiler alert you know ronan is like a skeptic so the male main character in the sequel he's not a skeptic he's like deep in he's a holy warrior he is like 100 percent for his prophet and for the congregation so i think a little nervous how sympathetic he's gonna be but so we'll see <laughs> that, that, that means you're coming at it from a completely different situation so instead of having a guy who's like not buying into it anymore he's yes he's so indoctrinated that like, yes that's gonna set up so much more like i yeah yeah so, so i'm a little nervous about him i mean i am attached to him still but i'm a little nervous because he is such a like i don't like company man he's such a true believer he's such a like he doesn't have any doubts at all at the beginning of the book. Right. So I'm just going to be interesting challenge to see how I can, how, how he becomes more, hopefully more sympathetic in the course mm -hmm. of the book. So, yeah. So that's what I'm working on with the second one too. So, okay. okay. <laughs> but yeah. I had, I had a reader once ask me, so this is one thing. So there will never be animal um, like harm in the series or whatever. So, because uh, sometimes people like they'll hear cult and they'll think like you know animal mm. sacrifice. So, yeah. but in case anyone is worried about that, I'm definitely committed to, and I wouldn't want to either. Like, there's no animal harm. Okay. None of the congregations will have any of that. So. Okay. Good. Thanks. That's off topic, but that was just something that came into my mind. But yeah. Well, I mean, if you get that question quite often, then it's worth. It's I worth do occasionally. Price. It's like, oh no, and I'm like, no, this isn't that. They're mean to people in this guy, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, this, this cult doesn't harm animals. People, yeah. Yes, sure, no, there's yeah. just murder, but like the yeah. animals are all okay. So like like <laughs> yeah, good news. So. Yeah. 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 But we yeah. have to draw a line somewhere, people. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> Safety yeah. for that. So yeah. I love it. So if somebody was brand new to reading your books, where would you recommend they start? Um, I Mm, let's see. <laughs> I I do have one. I do have one. Like I do have one on Eden Books that's very like a little more like it's very consensual and very like like it's taboo, but it's like a gentle introduction to taboo. So and oh well, yeah, so it's called I think it's a pump. It's called Pumpkin Spice or whatever. So it's like if someone doesn't want like the more the darker side, um, maybe start with something like like a little fall themed cozy taboo. But really, I would probably still say with the eclipse ritual, just because I I, I feel like that's my best book. So that's what I'm going to say. Start with <laughs> so yeah. And I think if they're picking up your book, they they have to be already. I mean, we it's dark, it's taboo. We're already putting it yeah. out there. Like they should be comfortable with that if they're going to pick up that book. So yeah, and I, I'm always it. trying to add more, like make my um, trigger warnings like more specific every time to make sure that it's like just like upfront what the triggers are and stuff. Yeah. But with Amazon, you know, I was like trying to like, you know, you don't want to say the triggers like ahead of like like too yeah. much in the beginning or they'll like it'll trigger like their you know, computer programs to, you know, blog you. But anyway, so yes, I try to get better with the trigger warnings with each one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I know there's some others that have a QR code 
that they put in the front of the Oh, bag. that's a smart idea. Yeah, uh, that's a good idea. It's Pam Godwin does that. Where she has a QR code and then you just go, you can scan the QR code and then it takes you to her website where you can see all of the triggers listed that's there. That's smart. It, yeah, I have like a link, but that would yeah. be probably even easier to do. Yeah. So, so. so then you're not triggering Amazon. And then for those of us who don't want to see trigger warnings because we want to go in blind because we don't have yeah. triggers, then, then you don't have to worry. Because sometimes I'm afraid when I'm reading triggers that I'm going to give some, like I'll see something and it mm-hmm. ruins my trigger. Yeah. So that's, that's one way to make, to maybe appease the masses. I don't know. That's a good but, idea. That's a good idea though. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, when I, my first taboo that I wrote was, well, that I put on Amazon was called bad sign. And I had, I had thought by putting taboo on it, that that was um, like an alert that there would be like sibling taboo. But a lot of people <laughs> wrote and they were like, they're like, where did this brother come up? Like, spoiler, <laughs> like, where did this, like, this brother came from out of nowhere? Like he's in the X, Y, Z. And so I'm like, I just had no clue. So I had thought that that's what taboo meant. But yeah. I have since learned that's not a sufficient trigger warning for the, but yeah, so no, nope, I yep. learned that. <laughs> you have to use the big I word for that one, I think. So I know. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm learning. I'm learning now. So yeah, I had to figure that out as well. Okay. So, cause yeah. I don't want people reading unless they enjoy the fictional content, of course. But Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So. so. Okay. So can you share what you are currently working on? And I know we were communicating a little bit and you said you had a new book coming out soon. Yeah, there's one I'm working on called, uh, what is it? Oh, um, I forgot. Oh, Cruise. Yes. Yeah, so, so I'm working on Blood Moon Ritual, the sequel, and I'm working on one called Cruise and it's a dark Omegaverse. So, but it's, it's a male, female Omegaverse. So Omegaverse is, I don't know if you read them, but they're kind of like, there's alphas, there's betas, there's omegas and like there's scent matches. So it'll start out with, my female main character going on reluctantly going on a family cruise like their family reunion cruise she's never been scented by an alpha she doesn't know why she's confused and of course like her mean angry older brother will be there <laughs> so spoiler Yay! alert we'll Yay! just see what happens out of that so that one will have some new ones that I haven't done. Like it'll have some, it'll have nodding, which yeah. I'm very excited about. You can't so have, do Omegaverse without nodding. Omegaverse I know that's what I thought too. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what would even be the point? So it's going to have a lot of nodding in it. It's going to have some forced breeding in it. Um, yeah. And he's like, so <laughs> this guy is going to be like the meanest taboo guy that I, he, he does <laughs> grovel. So I'll put that all in the trigger. But, yeah. but so he's going to be the alpha and obviously my female main character will be the Omega. So, and there's also a mystery to solve. So there's going to be um, alphas, some alphas out of control on the mm-hmm. ship and going feral and they're going to want to be attacking Omegas. And so our female main character and male main character will be like both trying to figure out that mystery of why alphas are going feral and they're trying to figure out their own like set match. Okay. Uh, and hopefully that's not too much spoiler or whatever, but you Please can you don't. can edit out the spoilers if that was too much I, I think that's pretty good. I, I mean if you, yeah. if you say there's it's too spoiler, then we can edit out whatever, but I think that's pretty good. Okay, uh, yeah. I don't think it was. I'm but I'm excited that I, I love Omegaverse. Uh, every once in a while, we'll do like a, we have a series on our channel that's, it's called Convincing My Bestie to Read. And it's where we convince the other one to read. We throw out six trope or six, six books in a specific trope. And it's typically the stuff that we don't choose for ourselves. So we just did one where it was Omegaverse because Mandy doesn't normally choose that, but I am a hoe for it. So, <laughs> but I'm also, I don't like, other, a lot of the Omegaverses are sweet, and I don't. I, mm-hmm. I need some drama. I need angst. I need more to mine than that. Yeah. So um, I'm excited for an Omegaverse. Like that would be awesome. So. I know. I'm looking forward to. It. That's like me with Daddy Kink. I had no notion. I have a friend, and she writes Daddy Kink, and so I'm like, okay, let me try this. And I all of a sudden I'm loving Daddy Kink. Right now. So I was like, mm-hmm. okay, like I can totally be talked into all these new kinks and tropes. Yeah. Like, okay, I'll just try it. So yeah. So yeah, I, I definitely relate. <laughs> exactly. It depends on who, how, how it's written and who writes. Yes, so, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So um, I'm, so I'm excited about that one as well. That's coming out too. So. And do you have a release for, when was it Mandy? What'd you see? So, you said that you, I think it's bad sign. You, it's the hitchhiker one and you 
added some stuff to it or something there was some yeah there's another there's like another there's one more scene in it basically but okay. i had to keep it i had to like there was a gap in between because um i had it on kdp until like may 10th or whatever so i waited until that was done just to be on the safe side to bring it on to uh etsy and smash words and eden books and stuff so mm -hmm. so that one should be coming out next week it's already People have already read it, but there's basically one more added scene to it. So okay, yeah, and <laughs> that won't be on Amazon because you keep getting taken off of Amazon, right? No, yeah, that one yeah. keeps yeah. So that one will just be on Etsy and Smashwords and mm -hmm. stuff. So yeah, but it's the same. It's thematically similar to my mm -hmm. other. The tr the same trigger warnings will apply. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Various spitting and all this sort of stuff. So yeah. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I know. I love. I love <laughs> spitting. I just. I love. That's a trope. I. I should have said that first too. Over the top, jealous, possessive, possessive, and I. I really do like spitting. So, <laughs> yeah, like that's it. another favorite. <laughs> in my books, I like it. <laughs> yes, in in my books. In my books, I like it. In my books, I, I do enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, like when the kids were little and they'd backwash I'm like nope that's all yours buddy no <laughs> thank you i know the water with like the little bits of crumbles on top like no, <laughs> no we're, good. we're good exactly yeah <laughs> okay. oh my gosh do you remember the okay. you've got well here it. is a here's a good question now how do you come up with your ideas <laughs> <laughs> um I, let's see so like my my me time is going for a walk every day like exercising at the gym or something and so that's honestly when i come up with all like all my ideas i'm just walking around i'm like if i see something so for example in my other in my one of my other pen names i have a, a romance about a drag queen and so that one literally just started with seeing drag queens that were super hot and i was like okay this drag what if this drag queen was like obsessed with you wouldn't that be super hot and so like that's kind of how like wouldn't that be hot basically is the re like that starts all of my <laughs> like oh that would be so hot be so like hot. <laughs> yeah exactly so that's it's not like very fancy but that's where all my ideas come from. Mm -hmm. so yeah yeah so then but, in, oh, the, go ahead. in the same vein like under this name they're all brother sister like yes is there a reason the, why is that just something that was sounds fun or is that just is there a reason why why i just <laughs> i just like like as opposed to like a great uncle or whatever yeah, <laughs> yeah, do you so, mean? yeah okay yeah yeah. I, don't know, I, yeah I just i just find that brother sister and i have another one coming out oh the one the blood moon ritual one they're going to be twins as well so that's um, a whole have, other Level. yeah yeah so <laughs> yeah. I, that's just that's just i have thought about that like i've tried to brainstorm ideas with like uncle or grandpa but just mm -hmm. they they're not at the moment they're not as hot so for me that bro that brother one is still just driving me so yeah it's 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 the most taboo right like it is taboo tab like it's i mean they're taboo but that is taboo so yeah just i there's something about there's something about that one that it, I enjoy the challenge of seeing if I can make readers, you know, root for the couple. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe sometimes it's easier in like a world like Eclipse Ritual where it's obviously like a dystopia already, you know, mm -hmm. so yeah, but I, I enjoy the forbidden challenge. Yeah, exactly. So Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember that when I was reading Eclipse Ritual, I was like, um, I shouldn't want this, but I so <laughs> want this the whole time. So. I know. I was just the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so that's where I like that's that's where the ideas come from. And then I had I had thought about um, I was nodding with this one on the next one. I was like, oh man, I like nodding, that seems so hot, you know. So Mm -hmm. yeah or like i'll be like i went on a cruise a couple months ago and i was like there's got there there needs to be more dark romances set on cruise ships like it's like forced proximity you're trapped there in the middle of the you know road or whatever so i was like you're trapped forced proximity there's nowhere to go so like there's got to be there needs to be more dark romance set there so yeah so that's where that the idea for that one came from <laughs> that, that that is very smart i remember liking um Sandra Bullock was a cruise too. They were on a mm. cruise ship. Mm -hmm. See, I know I because every when I come up with titles, like I'll try to Google them on Amazon to make sure you know I don't want to take anyone else's title, right. or, you know. So I'll look and see. I'm like, oh wow, we need more dark cruise or ship romances. <laughs> so, yes, yes, yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's, 
that one will definitely be unique in the setting at least. And like oh. I said, the nodding, I was like, I've got to do nodding. Nodding is so hot. <laughs> so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay, Mandy, what else you got? Okay. Do you have any favorite authors or favorite books? Yes, I like, I do. So let's see. For dark romance, I really like, and they're not as well known, but I like, I really love Heather Cruz. She mm -hmm. does, she has this gothic romance called The Curse of, uh, oh man, White Oak Grove, White Oak Grove, um, that I really enjoy. And she has another one. I Another theme or trope I really love is the blackmail. Um, so she has another one called Pale Shadow that I really like. And Ninia Campbell. So had, those two authors are my favorite, I would say, dark romance authors. And one, my favorite taboo book is called Harbingers. By, I don't know if you read that one by Tate Monroe. No. Uh -uh. I, I really enjoy that one. It's about two brothers, and they're both serial killers, of course. It's very cozy. Yeah. Yeah. They do it together, so it's, you know, they're like, it's like togetherness time. But, um, so they're both serial color killers, and that's just, that was, it was one of those books where I read it, like, I shouldn't enjoy <laughs> these things that happened in it, just because the I just, but I did, I really was, I was rooting for those two guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> So that one's <laughs> Taboo M.M. Yeah, that one's okay. M.M. Taboo. Yeah. So it's Harbingers by Tate Monroe. So that's my favorite taboo book. Okay. And I, I really love historical taboo, historical taboo, but that's really hard to find. At least it I did. have had a hard time finding it, like, on Smashwords and Eden books. I would love yeah. to find more. There was one, I can't remember the title now, but I read a Victorian era tab, like brother-sister taboo. Mm -hmm. I think it was Wil Wiltshire, Wiltshire Abbey, maybe, Wiltshire Abbey. But I, if I, if anyone writes that, I will pretty much buy it and read it right away because I love like the his, like the Regency or historical Victorian taboo. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm like a sucker for that if I can ever find it. But mm -hmm. yeah, so those are some of my favorite taboo mm -hmm. and then dark romance authors. <laughs> okay. So what do you like to do in your free time? I mean, read. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. That's basically, I mean, those are basically, and it's weird because I don't, I don't know whether to think of writing, like I thought of writing as a hobby for, cause I started writing about a year, a year and a half ago. And so I've always thought of it as a hobby. So I don't know whether to think of it as a hobby anymore or jo job, you know? So mm -hmm. it's somewhere in between that. So writing is my hobby, but also my job. So I think of writing and reading are like, those are the things that I, enjoy doing the most i guess so yeah um yeah <laughs> i also i also like like exercise like and going to the gym uh, that's not exciting <laughs> that's not exciting <laughs> like reading reading is what's exciting yeah so and yeah. i like because i live in the pacific northwest too so i enjoy going to like the street festivals going to the mm -hmm. like street food street food tacos and stuff like that so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but reading is really the crown jewel of my hobby. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of all we do, right? <laughs> so, I have both KU and, you know, Kobo. I think it's called pronounced Kobo Plus, Kobo Plus or whatever. So Plus, I, think, I have yeah. like both of those. <laughs> yeah. so, I'm just, I'm a sucker for all of those. And I love the convenience of being able to just like, check out and check out yeah. so many new people. So mm -hmm. I have, I have all of the above <laughs> when it comes to that. So yeah, that's yeah. our thing too. We love finding authors that need more hype or indie authors who are just not out there yet. Like that is our thing. We don't, I mean, don't tend to read a lot of the more mainstream stuff. So that's where the like Kobo and Eden and um, KU has some too. I mean, obviously they have a lot. I mean, that's where we get the majority of ours, but. I mean, I know I have found so many good books that don't have very many reviews or anything like mm -hmm. that. And so it's, yeah. it's really enjoyable finding like a hidden gem that you can then mm -hmm. shout to everybody. So yeah. That yes. is that is what we do here. <laughs> so yeah, that is our passion. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. So will we see you at any author signings? I I don't I mean, I'm not yes, that would be great in the future. I don't know how to I'm I don't know how to like maybe you can edit all this part out. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> yes, that would be great. <laughs> I haven't signed up for any of them yet, but yes, I would I would like to do that in the future. So it was fun like i put my um signed copies of the eclipse ritual on etsy and so i go to sign I'm like okay yeah i have to develop a whole 
new signature here because this is my pen name, you know? So I had like watched the YouTube videos, like how to, you know, like make the fancy letters and so mm -hmm. <laughs> But so, yeah, I think that would be fun. I've never, I haven't done it yet, but I'm not opposed. I would enjoy it and I think in the too, future. Like, for us, once we found one or two that we started going to, then like all the doors started to open. We're like, oh, there's one here. There's one here. Oh, one yeah. Here. So I think it's at first it's like, how do you find all these signings? But then once you find oh, no, one so or two, they start showing up. Do they have they have ones local to y'all where you are? Uh, like ones at all? Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. They would have a bunch. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm definitely not opposed to it. But although after some of the recent, you know, uh, conventions, like I want to check out each one to make sure that like there's you know good mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. vibes <laughs> from it. So yeah. Yeah. The one you're referring to, we did not attend that or I'm assuming it's the one that you're probably thinking of that there was a lot of stuff out there about it. We didn't attend it, but the stuff that we heard people talking about are things that we've never seen happen at the ones we've attended. Oh, that's always, good. Yeah. They've always That's been it, really because smooth. if you've never been, I'm like, is that what these are like? So I made me kind of nervous because I'm a bit like I'm a bit shy in person. And so I'm like, mm -hmm. Ooh. but that's so when, good to hear. Yeah. When we get off here, we can tell you some that we know that are I mean, like if you want to stay in the Pacific Northwest, we know of some that are mm -hmm. in this area. But we also know of some like in 2025 that are just starting to announce their authors and stuff that are Midwest. Oh, OK, uh, that's cool. We, we can send you a list of some of them that we know of. Oh, yeah. that would be cool. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. We have had nothing but really, really positive experiences going. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. That's good to yeah. hear. <laughs> and it's, it's nice like because there's big cities and there'd be a variety of them over here too. So. Exactly. Yeah. And it's always <laughs> kind of interesting because it's like they throw a bunch of, which when you have the sightings, you have the sightings where everybody kind of gets in line and they go and see their author and they pick up their pre-orders. But then you have the things where we normally do the VIP where we get to spend like the night before hanging out with the authors and, and all that fun oh, stuff. But okay. they, you know, most authors are like readers and they're not as outgoing. I mean, there's going to be some, but there's not as many. There's a lot of introverts in one room and they kind of throw you in there and they're like, now go make friends. And you're like, Everybody talk to each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're all like, no, no, I'm going to sit here and drink, <laughs> and drink. And you know, so it can be, it can be interesting. You have to learn to like go. Like, we had to realize that most authors aren't going to be, very like welcome to your table like hi i'm so and so like we have oh to yeah them and start that conversation because they're just yeah. as introverted as the rest of us so but books are like the intro to it <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean like that's the, yeah. like what are you reading at least for me it's like but like when you see big time authors or, or at least big time indie authors um you just there's a moment of i don't know because they're they're that person i even think mm -hmm. like we saw it was it sophie lark when we saw yes. Sophie Lark in Vegas last year, I was like, we can't go talk to her. That's Sophie Lark. <laughs> but she's the sweetest, right? I mean, it's not even like that. So, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and I had heard people say that that's, that's not usual for conferences and, and conventions. So. No, <laughs> that's that good. was insane. It doesn't scare me away from them, basically. So, that's good. <laughs> And then you had um, afterwards, a lot of the ones that are coming up were like, this is what we do, trying to ensure mm -hmm. that's not going to yeah. happen. Yeah. Day. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Thank I'm you. almost to the end of my questions. So, I have what is the best way for readers to connect with you? Um, I have on Facebook, I have a group called Feral and Forbidden. And so that's where I post stuff like art that I've had commissioned. And this next week, I because I'm going to be doing the hardback for Eclipse Ritual. So I have two different pieces of art that I'm going to like basically be deciding between. So I'm going to put them both and I'm going to put them both on there and kind of just get opinions on it. And I may use both of them for additions in the future. But so that's what I'll be doing next week. So I'm working on the hardback for that and basically which cover should I choose? So that's yeah. what I'll be doing there. So I do stuff like that in my reader group or maybe like some teasers and stuff for future projects. So my next, I'm going to do a hardback. That'll be coming in a little bit, but hardback for Eclipse Ritual. And then I'm going to do a paper copy of the Paroli is going to be next. Mm -hmm. So, so it's that, like similar stuff. And then I have my, I, I, my Instagram is another good way Kate Rivenhall Instagram is the other good way to get a hold of me. So yeah. I do have an email, but people will usually email me. They'll just like send me Instagram message, which right. works out perfectly. So the hardback for um, 
for a club switch wall, will that be on your Etsy shop? Is that where you're going to have it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll be it. It's because when it got blocked on Amazon, it got blocked the paperback and the mm -hmm. ebook. So I had to, and I had never done any of it before. So I had to get a whole new like, a, like I think a, a new a new way to do. It. But it 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 worked out nicely. So I'm hoping to do it with all my like the longer books. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I. Yeah, I but I'm really excited hard. about. I, I'm sorry, go ahead. Need, sorry, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need the hardback. <laughs> I need that. So yeah, I really, I really love. And I, you know, I, when I first started out, I didn't know how to, you know, commission art. I, I didn't, mm -hmm. I was very, I didn't know how to even find like a hardback or paper bag and do it yourself and stuff just on Amazon. So I feel like I've learned a lot and it's been exciting. So, yeah. Yeah. So those are the two best ways, my Facebook group and then my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think we've had to learn a lot too. We, we designed um, reading journals for our readers and our, on our YouTube channel. Oh. That is so, cool. Like, figuring out, I mean, I have it right here, like figuring out how to get it published or how to. Oh, that's pretty. I mean, that was things. That's one of them. Um, but we have, we, we did it more with what we would want, right? We simplified it, mm -hmm. but um, figuring out how to publish that and how to design it and where to like all that stuff that entails. It's a lot. Yeah. And you learn along the way, but once you know, you know, so. I know. And I, it's so because when you run an Etsy shop too, I have to do like tech support as well. Because yeah. I mean, it's not really intuitive to, you know, like necessarily do the digital downloads and stuff. So I'm like, I'm doing tech support with people making sure they can download the digital, yeah. the ebooks and stuff. So yeah. it's, that's, that's been a really cool thing. Like, it really, you feel like you're running like a small business. So it's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a cool feeling just to <laughs> feel like you're in charge or you're the CEO of your whole yeah. small business. When you're indie publishing, it's like, I can publish when I want, what I want on my schedule. Mm -hmm. No, it's exactly. just a cool, like mini powerful feeling, <laughs> you know, cause you're doing it, you're, you're doing it yourself, writing what you want to. So yeah, yeah. it's fun. <laughs> yeah. That's why yes. I like indie authors too. They, they can do a little bit more and they can yeah. pump them out whenever they want to. And they have things in their books that you wouldn't see at a traditional publishing. Yeah. And I've had other authors definitely really help me. Like Lauren Beale suggested the Etsy shop to begin with. She said, cause she got some of her books banned as well on Amazon. Yeah. So she said, she suggested, you know, um, yeah, I'm doing really well on Etsy and, you know, other authors said, check out my page and see how to lay it out and stuff. So I appreciate, yeah. I've appreciated the help as well too. So yeah, the people saying, Oh yeah, try Etsy, try Kobo and stuff like that. So. Yeah. I've seen several of the darker romance authors, um, or that have that or taboo elements and stuff in there to have Etsy shops. Yeah. It's been great. So, yeah. 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 So I'm hoping to get art and stuff like that, like, you know, expand. And mm -hmm. once I have a few pre-orders pushed through and finished, I'll maybe yeah. work on some art and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> fun. It's going to be fun. Like I'm excited to see that. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, Mandy, is that it? That was it. Okay. I am thank you so much excited for this next book me too <laughs> me too thank I'll you. Need that. so excited right. yes I'm excited I'm like about 40 I'd say like 40 percent done with the first draft so okay. and I was thinking about because when I first did the eclipse ritual I I did it in like four parts on uh, Eden books mm -hmm. so I would do like part one of one part one of four two of four three of four and now I think I'm just I'm not gonna do that I think that will be too I'm just gonna do the whole thing because I, I was like doing it episodically, but I think I'm just gonna do the whole thing. So the, the it'll come out just the whole thing, all of Blood Moon Ritual. So there won't be any like, uh, what's the word? Uh, cliffhangers in it. It'll just be yeah. the whole book. So and you've got <laughs> I, 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 between now and then. So I think you'll keep your keep the masses happy anyway. So. Plus, yeah. I wouldn't have to design, you know, like for, with the first one, I designed like all the four covers when it was first on Eden Books, and it was like, <laughs> so I'm not very good at that. So, but so uh, yeah, designed, so who designed the cover that's on it right now that Mandy has? There, it was someone that I don't work with anymore on um, Fiverr, and his name was his name is Muhammad. I was his name on Fiverr, but I know I don't work with him anymore. I love the cover though, but I have new artists and I have. Um, S. Renea on Instagram is one of my new cover artists for the hardback, okay. and I enjoy working with her. She's she's really good. She can show me each step of the art, which is really cool too. Okay. I didn't know you had to ask for that when I was first starting out, yeah. but she'll show me like the rough sketch, 
halfway colored, all the way colored, and do revisions all the way. So okay. it's pretty good. So cool. I've learned a lot, and <laughs> mm -hmm. I've enjoyed like figuring out like who who is you know best to work with and personal recommendations and stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've enjoyed right. that. So that's awesome. Okay, are you ready, Mandy, for me to do the sign off? Thank you for having me so much. I really enjoyed it. I wasn't, once I got started, I wasn't too shy. So it was exciting. <laughs> that was you wanted, fun. <laughs> you wanted to be like, you're just hanging out with friends. So that's yes, cool. so, yeah. definitely. So thank you. Thank you for coming on. Like we're, we're really happy to have you. This has been fun. Thank you. Yeah. I really yes. appreciate you having me and, and, you know, enjoying thank you for enjoying my book and telling other people about it <laughs> of course we'll tell everybody yes we didn't actually recap that jessica you this was your top read for march right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was one of my top reads in april so definitely a book to check out mm -hmm. yeah love it thank you <laughs> i mean and we've read the pearling and stuff too like we like them i just that yes. that one was just like oh it did it for me it had everything <laughs> in it so yeah. all right thank you all right, Mandy. So what do you want to tell them? Well, thanks for joining <laughs> us and make sure you check back on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for new videos from us. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video.